welcome to Bull's Dino Channel. Everything are dinosaur. Hello, Momo. So this is part three of the of the book, right? Very important dinosaurs, encyclopedia of very important. Okay, we started here. Stopped so we stopped here. here, so now we're gonna do meet the predators, right? Number one, <clears> what <throat> is this dinosaur? So that says that's the Allosaurus. Oh, I don't know. And that's the uh There's Dinosaurus. That's the Yuda Raptor. And Baryonyx. And that's the Sycomimus. And that's the what? Uh, T-Rex. T-Rex. And that's the Herarosaurus. And that's the Latin Vinatrix. <laughs> Sounds like Asterix and Obelix. Velociraptor and the, the Nanaikis and Coelophysis. Okay. Gonna have some. The what? Allosaurus. Oh. First, the Allosaurus. Oh, it's very big. Very Pretty big, big yeah. Pretty big. So and, big. um. It's only as big as a team. Yeah. Yeah. And it lived in the Jurassic period, right? The Jurassic period. And um, used to live, it died as of course meat, and used to live in the habitat as woodlands. It's a pretty big animal, 12 meter long, 39 feet. The means, the Allosaurus means different lizard. What does different lizard mean? I don't know why. Why they call them different lizard? Well, that's the how it is. But it's a dinosaur. Yep. It's a dinosaur. Yeah, it is a dinosaur. I want to show you the skull of it. The what? The skull? The skull. Oh, the fossil? The skull, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's really bad. Okay, next on the menu is the Velociraptor. So the Velociraptor are actually very small, not like they showed us in the movie, right? It's pretty small. It's also lived in the Cretaceous period. Well, lived in the well, desert. It's hunting. And eat there's meat. two Velociraptors. They're hunting. Yeah, I remember that it was hunting this uh, this uh, Protoceratops, right? The, the poor Protoceratops. It doesn't have any horns to defend itself. With. Yeah, it was running away. Yeah. Run away. Woohoo! Look at the claw of the raptor. That is super big. Yeah. They're not big, but they're very Look at these. <clears throat> dangerous. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, the foot claws. claws. Look yeah. at the long tail whip. Yep. That's like a muscle. Next one is the Coelophysis. Coelophysis. Looks like a Gallimimus. Yeah, it looks like a Gallimimus, you're right. It's not yeah, that big it either. Had, it has a long neck. It has a long neck. It's That's not pretty big. And it's a long tail too, right? Yeah, long tail. Look how long that tail is. It's, like it's a, a very old dinosaur. It used to live in the Triassic. Period. Yeah, it eats, of course, small animals, but it used to, to live in the desert, just like the Velociraptor. What? Yeah, oh, only yeah. the desert. Look at his fossils. Yeah, really the fossils big. of the Coelophysis. Yeah. <clears throat> they found some animal in the stomach of the Coelophysis. Oh. Remains of an animal. He ate something and, and just, yeah. <laughs> All right, next one is Sukomimus. My friend! Your hey, friend. Yeah, look at this. Big mouth and big teeth and long tail and yeah. sharp claws, it's, right? It's like a Baryonyx and Spinosaurus. Right. It's like yeah. a cousin of the Baryonyx and the cousin of the Spinosaurus, right? Yeah. Spinosaurus, of course, being the biggest one of them all, right? Yeah, it's one of them all. The biggest meat fish eater. Yeah, because meat fish. and fish eater, right. Yeah. So, what you used to live in the Cretaceous, right? Mama. Yeah. Um, I think it used to hunt by himself, not in a pack. Oh, not in a pack? Not in a pack. Because oh. it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need any help, it's pretty big. That's true, it doesn't need any help. It's yeah, pretty big. it's pretty big. It's the biggest fish eater. Ooh. What is that? What is that dinosaur up there? I don't know, that one? I don't know. That's a Brachiosaurus. Maybe. Okay, so it used to live in the Cretaceous, right? The Sucumimus. Similar as the as the as the um, I think the T Rex and the and the Spinosaurus. They also lived in the Cretaceous. Of course, he used to eat fish and marine reptiles, like maybe sharks or crocodiles or something like that. And he used to live in swamps. Swamps. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's pretty big. See how big it is? It's big compared to you. Whoa! It sounds like a baryonyx. It's like a baryonyx. Okay. Okay. Next on the list is the Utah Raptor. It's, it's pretty big. It's a little yeah, bit big. Yeah, Utah Raptor is pretty big. Yeah, it's not small at all. No. Look at it's his foot claw. It's a little foot bit right? Whoa, look at his foot claw. Yeah. And feather. It's a big, big feather. It's almost like a corn. It's a dangerous foot claw. You're it's almost right. like a corn. It's horse. Yeah. It has two horns. It's used to live in the Cretaceous period again, right? And it to, was living in the plains and eating meat. used to take up their bones. Who? The people. Yeah, the paleontologists. Yeah, they right. used to take up their bones. Yeah, they used to dig up the fossils and bones. Right? Yeah, right fossils and bones. Cool. cool. So that is our friend, the Utah Raptor. I think it's the like the biggest raptor that is. See the nasty claw. They call it the nasty claw. It's so big. Yeah. It's, here, I, toe claw, right? Yeah, I think it's so the dangerous. Biggest. I think it's the biz- biggest raptor. Yeah, I think it's the biggest raptor. Yeah, bigger than but the Velociraptor, bigger than the Oviraptor. Well, I right? think Velociraptor Blue is, is the king of the raptors. Yeah, it's just in the movie. Yeah, it's just it's in the movie, movie, right? It's a movie. Okay. I saw the movie before. Which one? Kingdom. Okay. That's where the T-Rex lives. Carnotaurus. And the Carnotaurus. Why Allosaurus. Find the Allosaurus too? I think Spinosaurus is the biggest fish eater. Mm-hmm. The next one is the Denonychus. It's a medium size, right? It's not as small as the Velociraptor, but not as big as the Utah Raptor. Oh. Again, lives in the Cretaceous, forests and swamps, and eating meat, of course. And has the same claw, right? Same deadly claw as the Utah Raptor and the Velociraptor. All raptors have... Have this, have this nasty claw, right? Nasty claw. Why did they call it nasty claw? Because it's nasty. It's so dangerous. Yeah, it's so dangerous. Could cut up, cut out anything, right? Carve it anything. Cut their arm. <laughs> yeah. But didn't so they don't say what uh, Dinamicus means? What does it mean? I don't know. They don't say it on the book here. No. But raptor means thief. Thief. Yeah, That's velociraptor means the fast thief. Whoa. Utah Raptor means the thief How from Utah. How fast is it? The, what? How fast? fast is it? I don't know. They don't say how fast these raptors are, but they're pretty I think fast. It's 40 May- miles per hour. 40 miles per hour? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. What they say fast? sometimes it's as fast as a cheetah. What? How yeah. fast is a cheetah? Cheetah's maybe like 60 miles an hour or something. Maybe that's. Maybe it's, uh. Maybe this one is. Yeah. 40? 50? 40 miles per hour. Maybe. 40 miles per hour. 40, 50 miles per hour. Yeah. That, that's really fast. That can go fast 100 miles. 500 miles per hour. 500 miles per hour? That's a plane. Yeah. Okay, next on the list is something that's called Latini Vonatrix. Latini Vonatrix. That's a very difficult name. <laughs> <laughs> Once known as a Trudon. So that's the, the old Trudon. It's very intelligent, very smart, very has very good eyesight and very quick feet. So it's very fast. Whoa. So you remember the Trudon? Remember we saw the Trudon before, but this is the new name for the Trudon. It's called Latini Venatrix. Latini Venatrix. They used to dig up the fossils yeah. and bones. Yeah. So it has feathers. See, it has feathers all what? over its body, right? It has dangerous. very strong legs. It could eat you. Of course. It's almost as big as a human, right? What the? Yeah. Live in the Cretaceous. Woodlands eat small animals. Whoa. It eats lizards. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I saw a lizard. A toy lizard at school. You did? Yeah. Oh. No, you I played did. with them? Not anymore. I don't play with lizards anymore. Okay. Anymore. I don't like school anymore. Why? School is fun. Not fun for me. Not for you. Not for me. Okay, so the next on the list is Herarosaurus. Herarosaurus is a very old dinosaur that lived in the, in the Triassic period. It used to live in the woodlands and the diet is meat. And it's pretty big, and bigger than a human, a little bit bigger than a human. It's a pretty dangerous animal too, right? Yeah. Why can't we see the Verzinosaurus? Yeah. So this also rare source you, you was discovered in Argentina, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
It was named after the farmer in Argentina who discovered my fossils. So Herrara was the name. So yeah, so Herrarosaurus was named. Herrara was the name of the guy that discovered the fossils of the Herrarosaurus in Argentina. Oh, yeah. Okay, now the next dinosaur on the list is the most famous dinosaur. Is the yeah, baby, the T Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King, Cretaceous, of course, big animal. He used to rift in forests and swamps, and of course, eating meat. What else would it eat, right? It could eat meat. And remember, the T-Rex has the biggest or the strongest bite of them all, right? Oh. Stronger than the Spinosaurus, the oh Giganotosaurus. Yeah, it has the biggest bites. It's not the biggest dinosaur, right? But the strongest bite of them all. The T-Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. Now, we li we're now going to start with the giants. Meet the giants. So we got the Argentinosaurus, the Elasmosaurus, the Spinosaurus, the Brachiosaurus, the Shunosaurus, the Giganotosaurus, the, Plodoc the Plodocus, and Quetzalcoatlus. So each biggest animal in each category, like the meat eaters, the plant eaters, and so on, right? So we'll start with the Giganotosaurus. And the Argentinosaurus. And it's hunting Argentinosaurus. So Giganotosaurus is one of the biggest meat eaters ever, right? Oh my Look god. at that huge skull, my god. Look at that huge mouth. Yeah. It lives in the Cretaceous, just as the Spinosaurus and T-Rex, same period, right? It used to live in, where was it? I think in South America, right? In Argentina as well. Because it lived with the uh, Argentinosaurus, so it has to live in Argentina. It lives in the woodlands and eating meat. Yeah, my god. Gicanotosaurus has a big, thick neck to support its huge head, right? Okay, next on the list is the Diplodocus. The Diplodocus with a whipping tail. Very long, strong tail. Look how long the tail is. Ooh. Very long tail. Long, much longer than the neck, right? Yeah. See, that's the Diplodocus. It's a big animal, right? Lives in the Jurassic no, period. You remember who the enemy, number one enemy of the Diplodocus? Who's the enemy of the Diplodocus? Uh... Who's, who was hunting the Diplodocus? Remember, starts, dinosaur that starts with an A means a different lizard. Starts with an A. L. L. O. L. O. L. O. S. Yeah, that's the number one enemy of the Diplodocus. Always used to hunt Diplodocus, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So used to live in plains, of course, and eat leaves. Next one, the Shunosaurus. <clears throat> the Shunosaurus was living in, discovered in China a long time ago. It's not... Look, it has a club tail. Oh, dangerous tail. Very dangerous with spikes on it, right? It's not that long. It's not a long tail, but it has a tail like what? Do you, do you, this tail remind like you of some... Yeah, like a stegosaurus, right. It has a, sh a bit short neck and a short tail, but a strong animal. Still a big animal, right? Lived in Jurassic. <laughs> Jurassic. And lived in the plains and eating plants. Jurassic. And then here, the Brachiosaurus. They need a whole two pages to capture the Brachiosaurus. What? Big, big animal. The Brachiosaurus, right? Look how what big is it is. Hunting? We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what you start. You just list on the Jurassic. It's almost as big as an Argentinosaurus, yeah. The heck? That's very big. See, uh, the, it says here that the, the Brachiosaurus could not stand on its hind legs like a Diplodocus, right? Not like in the movie. Remember the movie? They showed us that the, the Brachiosaurus is standing on its hind legs to reach the high trees. Yeah, actually, stands on two legs. In actual real life, the, the Brachiosaurus cannot do that. Yeah. Because it has very short hind legs. So it the movie was wrong like, about that. It can stand up like two. Yeah, but it, no, yeah, but in real life it cannot stand that because it has short legs. Short legs. Can it just do like this? Maybe I don't know. Jump like that, like a monkey. It's too big to jump like that. I don't think so. It's too big, too heavy. Too heavy. It used to live in North America. Can it just flip over? Mm, flip over? You want a brachiosaurus to flip over? 
Are you kidding me? No way! Quetzalcoatlus! Now the biggest bird of them all, Quetzalcoatlus! Used to live in the Cretaceous. Look how big it is. Oh my god. Could swallow a whole human. What? Yeah. Wingspan of 11 meters or 36 feet. Oh. It can eat your finger! Planes, small dinosaurs. Used to eat small dinosaurs. You mean you can eat your finger? My finger? Yeah, probably. Man, the Quetzalcoatlus. So the Quetzalcoatl was named after an Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl, which was a giant flying snake. So it was named after a, gi flying, a giant flying snake. Yeah. This is like the biggest bird ever. And it's very fast, 56 miles per hour. Yeah, that's very fast. Oh my god. As fast as a lion, the size of a small plane, with a beak as long as a person. Yeah, it was named after that snake. Giant flying snake. Giant. It's not a snake, of course. It's not a flying snake, right? The Pops bottle is, is a bird. A reptile bird. Oh, yeah. Man, that's an interesting one. Okay, now... Dinosaur! Yeah, the biggest... Fish eater. Fish eater slash meat eater in the history. It used to live in Egypt. It used to live in Egypt, North Af Africa. Spinosaurus aegypticus. So, yeah, kind of big. Used to live in swamps and eat fish. Move over, Tyrannosaurus. I am the biggest predator around. Yeah, that's true. There's some fish. Okay. Yeah. It's the biggest predator, but still, this Tyrannosaurus has the stronger bite than the Spinosaurus, right? Yeah. That's very interesting. It has a long mouth to catch fish and a sail to like, act like a rudder, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus. The biggest meat eater of them all. Biggest plant eater. Oh, sorry, plant eater. You're right. Good, yeah, good catch. Yeah. Plant eater. Cretaceous. Forests. Eats plants. Long neck. Oh, man. It has it all, right? Look at the Argentinosaurus egg. It's as big as a soccer ball. Whoa. That's the egg of the Argentinosaurus. <laughs> oh, man. That's <laughs> crazy, right? No way! How can he do that? That's not a possible. It's too big and it's too heavy. Yeah. Would it fl can't you can next it next focus, next thing you're gonna tell me it's gonna it, it dancing on its tail or something? Yeah. Can oh, it dance man. on its tail? No way! No way! No can chance! It no chance! No chance, man! <clears throat> okay, next one is the Elasmosaurus. This is one of the biggest marine animals, right? Wow, look how big it is. Oh, my God. Mosasaurus is the biggest swim, swimming reptile. Maybe, you're right, yeah. It's in the Cretaceous. Of course, snake. lived in the ocean. Fish and squid. It has a snake head. Yeah, it has a snake head, and it has a turtle body, right? Yeah, yeah it's funny. Hmm. And yeah, it has lots of fins. Yeah, and tail, short tail. Meet the mini monsters. Mini I think monsters. we need to take a break and then we'll be back because this book is never ending. We cannot finish that book. It's too long. All right, side bay for now. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.